Hey so friends, so fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Aries family. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies it can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you. But if it does, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to our soul family and talk me down in the comments because I love hearing from you and we are not strangers here. We we are soul friends, soul fam. All right, Aries, the overall energy for you this month is going to be focused on your intuition, all right? I create my reality and today I choose to trust my instincts. This is your mantra this month. So whenever you feel yourself shifting a little off center, a little too off path, repeat this to yourself. I create my reality and today I choose to trust my instincts. We also have the card, get up, get out and go get it. Now is your time. This is your season for growth. So get up off your ass and grow in love and life in completeness. Don't worry yourself with the drama. There's more important things to focus your energy on. And then you have the, finally, you have the Oracle card, sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. I really do think that this really ties into your tarot spread here starting with the two of wands i feel like this month for september is truly truly a month where it is important for you to make decisions you know make decisions that really align with your heart with the lover's card here that really fuel you and fill you up and make you feel good inside emotionally and mentally and also spiritually that just align with you. I do see that you are making decisions as far as like what relationships that you wanna go into next, what friendships that you wanna carry forward with you into the future, okay? Because you are becoming more sensitive and things are starting to affect you on a deeper level now. So you're being more mindful of what you're allowing into your life and things that you are cutting out of your life with the Knight of Swords, okay? You're truly taking this time to just nurture yourself and what feels good to you moving forward in career, with family, with friends, in love, in every arena of your life. I feel like this month for you is all about making decisions moving forward and not feeling like you can't trust yourself. Trust how you feel in every single arena moving forward and don't be afraid to walk away from the things that just feel heavy and dramatic and completely unnecessary to you, okay? It's okay to walk away so that you can allow the universe to you know, put their hand out to you and bring you that goodness that you want into your life, okay? It's okay to fight hard for yourself. It's okay to put yourself first and to put down barriers around yourself so that you don't end up getting hurt, all right? It's okay to stand in your energy this month, Aries, with this emperor card, okay? It is okay for you to love yourself, to trust yourself and do what you need to do moving forward, okay? If anything feels heavy, feel free to walk away from it. It's just not the month to give into drama or unnecessary energy. So be on the lookout for people trying to pull you in directions that you don't need to be going in. And you'll know deep down inside if it's the path that you need to walk or the path that you need to walk away from. All right, we are gonna move right into love now. Let's see here. Oh, I feel like it's going to be a really good month for you, Aries. No lie. No lie. All right. Moving right into love. What is the overall love energy between you and the person that you are dealing with? Aries. What is the overall love energy? Reminiscing. Someone's reminiscing. Is it you? Is it them? Someone is thinking about you, nostalgic about you. You could be nostalgic about someone too. But the overall energy is really focused on just thinking about your past. So this could be an ex who's thinking about you currently, or you could be thinking about your past too. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands 
and the lovers card so i do see that right now the overall love energy between you and somebody else really is wanting to communicate with you wanting to be around you and still feeling this soul tie to you but i feel like this is someone from your past because we have the six of cups here that is still feeling this connection and wanting to reach out all right well we're gonna dive deeper into that all right looking into how they feel about you how do they feel let's see how does the person you are dealing with and or thinking about feel about you aries give me a card when you're ready how do they feel towards you Ooh. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. These same cards keep coming out. You have the Lovers and the Queen of Cups. Let me grab this. Ooh, the Queen of Cups. Someone feels very strongly towards you in a very emotional way. Someone feels like an honestly like a very loyal, caring energy towards you. On the bottom of the deck, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This lets me know that there is someone here that does care about you that does still feel very strongly towards you, that has like an overflowing, you know, emotional reservoir for you. I really do think that that comes right back to the Six of Cups, you know, reminiscing, nostalgic about the past, still feeling that soul connection with the Lover's card, right? And probably not being able to control those feelings that they have for you right now. That's what I'm feeling. And it's interesting to me because you know where you are headed which is like going towards the things that feel right and here this person is from your past i feel as though they want to slowly come back into your present all right how do you feel towards this person all right you have two contradictory cards what's going on here all right so we have the two of cups and we have the seven of swords so you're in this energy, Aries, of feeling like, okay, yeah, I kind of think about them, right? I, I kind of want to get on common ground with them. Matching their energy of the Six of Cups with the Two of Cups could be connecting with a water sign here, a lot of water here. But then you feel like, I don't know if I can trust this person. I don't know if I want to give my all to them. I don't know what I'm gonna expect here. So I don't know if I should walk away, right? So you're really taking your time here when it comes to either allowing this person in or you reaching out to this person in general. I feel like you, this person though, in regards to you, they feel a lot, a lot, a lot stronger so far okay whereas you're you're kind of very much back and forth there could have been some manipulation that happened with this person in the past that you're still kind of like thinking about holding on to not sure if you want to let it go yet but they i they feel a lot a lot of love towards you if there was manipulation or cheating or just like you didn't really know if you could trust this person maybe nothing major happened but like you both just had trust issues they have kind of let it go I feel and have just started to view you in a positive light cleared out their emotions and they feel very strongly towards you um and I feel like this is someone who definitely healed their emotions and thinks about you in a higher light whereas you're still split between thinking about them kindly and then thinking about the negative solely all right oh all right hold on now didn't even ask a question yet. <laughs> if you're in a no contact situation, why is there no communication from you, Aries? Give me a card when you're ready. Why is there no communication from you, Aries? From you. All right, let me take that one. All right, so right now, Aries, you are focusing on yourself with the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're just leaving things up to fate at this point. You're kind of just letting the universe bring you what the universe wants to bring you. You're not forcing anything. You're not trying to make anything happen that isn't meant for you. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your finances, on your security, on just what makes you feel good in the present moment. Why is there no communication from them? Why is there no communication from them? 
Why is there no communication from them? Ooh. All right, the lovers, the high priestess, and the ten of swords. So they feel very strongly towards you. This is someone who they're not talking to you. If they're not talking to you, they still feel this soul tie. So don't get me wrong. It's like I'm not talking to you because I feel very strongly towards you. But I'm going to keep my feelings in the dark because I feel like this connection is completely over. That's why. It's not because they don't care. It's not because they don't still have very strong feelings for you. The lover's card, they have a very, very strong feelings for you still. But they're choosing to keep their feelings in the dark with the high priestess. They're choosing to be a mystery. Because I do feel like they truly believe that this relationship, this connection is over. Possibly because maybe your actions aren't giving them a clear sign that you will be open to seeing them at all or like talking to them at all. You know what I mean? What do they want? What do they want? Oh, that's so many cards. All right, let me just look at them really quick. The strength card, the hero font, the moon. Okay. So the strength card, this is someone who wants to kind of get control over the situation. They do want to make something happen with you again, get back on common ground with you again. You know, this is someone who just wants to not only love themselves, but love you in that same way. With the hero font, this is someone who wants to bring you commitment. They want to just, oh my God, just kind of get back, get things back on track with you. With the moon card, see, this is my problem. Like the moon card is like, you know, feelings hidden underneath. But then after that, we have the six of pentacles. So like I said, like I said, how, why is there no communication from this person? They feel this overwhelming soul tied to you, but they're keeping it in the dark because they feel like it's over. What do they want, though? They want to bring these emotions out from the dark and actually have a give and take with you, actually give you their emotions, actually be honest with you, right? But they're kind of like hiding at the same time because they're just so unsure how to navigate the waters. You know what I mean? Here, look at this. We have the Hermit and the Fool card. You know, staying away but coming out in the light and starting over. So this definitely is someone who wants to be with you. But they're, they're, they're staying in the dark. They're staying in the dark right now. What do you want? What do you want, Aries? From them. In regards to them. The Two of Wands. So you haven't really made a decision yet. You're still kind of like waiting, trying to make the best choice for you. I feel like you're in this state of even possibly, I feel like you could be in love with someone else. Clarify the, the two. Why the two of wands? Mm. A part of you wants to talk to them. A part of you wants to talk to them a part of you even if it's just a small fraction of of, of of you you do you do you do you do but i feel like you also kind of want to move away from this i feel like you're not rushing your decision you're like i don't really know which is where we come back to the two of cups and the seven of, of swords which is like i think about you i want to get back on common ground with you but i'm also thinking about the negative things that happen between the two of us so you're still very wishy-washy in what you want. It's like communication, but also looking elsewhere. Like you're looking away from that communication. Okay. And I feel like you could also be dealing with someone new and this past person's just still in your energy. All right. Quickly though, let's look into new love. What can you... Ex <laughs> Page of cups. Hold on. It fell. Mm. Page of cups. I feel like for anyone who is dealing with new love or a new person, I do think that the situation is very, very new. I feel like you are just enjoying the little things with this new person. If you haven't, um, if you're, if you don't have anybody new right now, I do see someone new coming in. It's going to start off as like a very innocent crush. Um, they might be a little bit younger than you, either in age or just like emotional maturity. 
but I do see you just really focusing on just like enjoying the little things, right? Tell me a little bit more about the Page of Cups for new love for Aries. Yeah, I see this being a very like celebratory. I mean, I don't, it might not, I'm going to be honest with you. It might not get serious quickly. Like it might take a minute to get serious. It might stay in that kind of honeymoon new phase, like new love energy phase for a while. But as long as you just continue to focus on the little things and just celebrate each other, you know, this is definitely someone who probably has been looking at you for a while or, you know, if they haven't approached you new love wise, they definitely check up on you or like are trying to research you on the internet. But I do see this. I do see it just continuing to kind of just be be easy and be free as long as you're free and easy as well. Like it's just not something that you need to take too seriously right now or rush it to become anything serious. Just have fun. Just have fun. All right. What's stopping this connection from moving forward with this other person? Ooh, all right. All right. So I am seeing that there has, was possibly a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, probably a lot of fighting between the two of you. You and this past person or the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. And I do see that like... What's stopping it from moving forward is the fact that one of you, and I feel like it's you, Aries, is kind of starting over elsewhere with the Page of Pentacles. Like you're you're taking your coins and you're looking elsewhere instead of trying to open this can of worms again in a way. What's the most likely outcome though? They wanna they wanna start over with you. They wanna talk to you. What's the most likely outcome though between you? And this person, the star card sex. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's just the first thing that I heard. So I definitely, okay, I hear two stories. So for some of you, I feel like if you guys did get back in communication because of the overwhelming love that this person still has for you, this overwhelming passion, I feel like you guys would get physical again. Like it would become a very physical relationship again or at least like off the bat the second story that i'm hearing is that you're going to continue to use your head over your heart and just focus towards healing and focus towards moving forward okay and i do feel like especially if you're just not open to this person i feel like they will eventually use their head over their heart and move on and just heal their wounds especially because they feel like the situation's over already and that's why they're not coming forward in that sense but they do want to if you were open to it they would but i feel like you're so focused on your next move that you're less concerned about rewinding the clock you know what i mean but they definitely want to rewind the clock and and try again with you if you were open to it we have the the three of pentacles you know coming in reconciliation just being together working hard for each other working hard for you but someone here is being a little bit like not choosing and i feel like this is you not not choosing them you know like not not making it known that you're open to it okay but they do they so want they so want that happily ever after with you all right that's all i have for my aries family make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already all right thank you so so much for watching i love you stay safe balanced and healthy and as always i will see you in the next one all right bye bye